income. Similarly, market demand as the name clarifies, so far we discussed about the demand of individual. When we talk about the demand of all the people living in that particular area or in a market, we will call as market demand. It is a total amount of effective demand from all the consumer, all the consumer in a market. So, if we say uh, Mr. A has this demand, this is an individual like uh, a, let's suppose chicken uh, consumed by a person in a month is let's suppose 10 pounds right or 10 uh, chicken total for example. So, and if we talk about all the people living in that city, how much income they have consumed, uh, sorry, how much chicken they have consumed, so then we will say it is a market demand. Let us suppose there are uh, 50,000 people living in the city, so we say all the 50,000 people total demand for one week is 20,000 chickens for example. So, this is called as market demand market demand is negatively inclined. So, it will be something like this. This will be the market demand by DD. Sorry, I am not very good with uh, using uh, like a laptop. So, the demand curve for the most normal group is negatively slow. You see, it is negatively sloped coming downwards from, you see sloping downwards from left to right. This is your left, this is your right, right. For the reason explained in the previous thing. So, we said already explained it that why it is negatively slowed because there is a inverse relationship between price and demand. Means you understand what is inverse relationship when the event variable is decreasing and other is increasing. So, that is called as inverse. So, whenever there is inverse relationship between two variables, so the, uh, the curve will be sloping downwards like this right ok. So, next is increase and decrease in demand. We, are, we have already discussed the expansion and contraction, now we will discuss increase and decrease in demand ok. What does it, uh, what is increase and decrease? Remember one word right, whenever the demand curve shift, this is a key word, when the demand curve shift either towards left or right. You see what we said previously, there was a movement along the same curve, one curve and we were moving from A to B and B to C A. Now, we what we say, when there is a shift, there will be two curves, one curve and then there the curve is shifting either leftward or rightward, that will be called as what increase or decrease. Now, why it will be shifting? Maybe consumer, there, there are number of factors, consumer income, prices of other goods, means related goods, taste, population and maybe because of inferior good. Now, let us explain these one by one. You know, when the price changes, uh, sorry, when the demand changes because of the price, that is expansion and contraction. But when price remains the same, but the consumer income increases or changes, you know, ok, tell me what if your income increases, will you buy more of something, will your expenditure will uh, increase or not? See, when you have more money, so you may buy more, you know when you are poor, so you are, uh, you, you might be visiting any fast food restaurant, uh, let us suppose once in a quarter, right, quarter of year and now you have income has been increased and you might be visiting uh, twice a month or every week. So, you see that this consumption increase in the consumption of fast food restaurant is because of your income. So, now this change in the demand of the fast food will be known as shift in demand right or rise in demand, increase in demand. So, price of related goods similarly if the price of some other good changes as I explained earlier, if the price of Pepsi changes and you change the demand of coke if the price of tea changes and you change the demand of tea and you shift it to co coffee let us suppose. So, in that case it will be known as shift in demand. Sometimes price remain the same, but the taste of the consumer changes right. You know when you were a kid you used to eat more lollipops and toffees and candies and now you are grown up and you might be eating more burger or energy drinks. So, this change in the demand is called as increase or decrease. 
Similarly, when population increases, obviously the overall demand in a country increases and similarly vice versa and inferior goods what are inferior goods inferior goods are those goods for which income effect is negative means when you are poor so you might be using cheaper goods and means those goods which you could afford it but now your income has been increased so you are now moving towards the standard or high quality goods now this means we said earlier when your income increases you buy more of something but now your income is increased and you buy less of the previous goods because they are those goods are cheaper right but and now you are moving towards higher class goods like let's suppose you used to buy a b grade dresses because uh, we have you you could not afford it but now when your income increases now you are not buying b more of the b good b good dresses but now you are buying a a class a grade dresses right so this decrease in the demand of b grade dresses or lower class dresses have been uh, you can say uh, change change to sorry the when the income of person increases so he buy less of the inferior goods means the cheaper good so and more of the normal good as well this is called again the increase or decrease in demand so in short if the shift in the demand curve is outward outward means to the right side such is known as increase in demand and if the shift is inward mean the leftward it is known as decrease in the demand and why it occurs because of these reason here you can see in the graph as well right this is the first demand curve d1 this is the price let's suppose 10 is the price and you are used to purchase 5 unit of something right now the price remain the same but you increase your production uh, sorry you increase your consumption to let's suppose 8 unit right now this increase this increase from this point to this point is not because of the price but maybe uh, now your income has gone up or the price of related good has been changed or any other reason that we discussed little earlier this is called as rise in demand what rise in demand rise or you can say increase in demand this is increase right increase in demand when you move from d1 to d2 means it's a shift towards rightward look at here it was when the curve shift outward or rightward it is increase in demand so here what happened the curve shift towards right this is the right side right so we say it's an increase in demand and vice versa will be decrease in demand while what is contraction it is movement along the same curve these two arrows this one and this one so when you move downward so you see demand is increasing so it's an expansion when you move backward means upward that is contraction hope the concept is clear so in short the discussion let's conclude it if a price change occurs there will be a movement along the demand curve and either it will be an expansion or contraction if the price of the same good changes so either you will increase the demand or decrease the demand that will be known as expansion or contraction but if the conditions of the demand changes like all the other conditions that we discussed little earlier and there will be a shift in the demand curve that will result be either increase or decrease in the demand right so remember this okay which one of the following would not lead to a shift in the demand curve for overseas holidays not you see i always tell you that focus on the one word in exam it will not be mentioned like this in a capital letters so just just to highlight so do not ignore this word not an advertisement campaign by the holiday tour operators obviously it will lead to increase the uh, you can say uh, the holidays so this is the um, this is the reason to increase the hol uh, holiday overseas holidays a fall in disposable income this will also lead to it a rise in the price of the domestic holiday it will also lead a rise in the exchange rate of the domestic currency it may not be the cause of the shift right so d is the right option